Hey, what's going on, guys? Appreciate you stopping by. The world just continues to go more and more crazy. Uh, I, I know I'm not the only one seeing it. If the last uh, several years have not been an indication as to what we need to all do on a, on a personal level, just the last few weeks uh, should be sending a message to everybody that that we just need to be prepared for unpredictable and uncertain times. Uh, in just the last few weeks, we've had an assassination attempt on a leading political candidate, and more and more it's beginning to look like that, uh, much like with JFK and some other uh, unfortunate events, that uh, there are some, uh, some evil entities that are involved that goes well beyond uh, the person that is being reported as the uh, person that is pulling the trigger. So uh, beyond that, we also have uh, political strife in the United States, just more and more division. We've had the uh, le another leading political candidate that has basically been kicked off uh, kicked out of the race and being replaced by somebody that nobody voted for. Crazy. And people talk about democracy. Yes, I know this is a republic, but people talk about democracy. And uh, a anyways, uh, we have uh, just global calamities occurring. Uh, we just had Israel. It, it appears as of this recording, uh, uh, assassinate and kill several uh, leaders of terrorist organizations in multiple countries, including the capital of Iran. Just crazy, crazy stuff. And if there was any doubt about how evil in the world and how wokeism is spreading like wildfire around the globe, we have the opening ceremonies of the Olympics in France that uh, is, is certainly uh, troubling to say the least. It's nuts, folks. It's absolutely nuts. So the message that I want to get across today is uh, no doubt you're seeing all this and that the end result of some of these could be not just uh, economic hardships, but true shortages, uh, not only in uh, supplies, things that that we use on a daily and a weekly basis, but also uh, create uh, more inflation, which is just more economic, uh, economic hardship uh, for all of us. So I feel like time is short. If you have the means to go out and buy some rice, buy some canned goods to put back those things that you know that you will need in the future, then do that. I'm not telling you to go in the debt. I'm not telling you to, to go beyond your means and not pay your rent because you're buying food. I'm not saying that at all because the reality is eh, things might be okay. Although it's beginning to, to look like that possibility is, is decreasing with, with almost, almost every passing day. So go take some logical steps to make yourself in a little bit better position. Uh, maybe sit down with a pad of paper and say, you know, I've often used this analogy. Well, what if you were to go camping for two weeks? and you, you could not leave the campsite, what would you need? Start writing st that stuff down. Look at what you do have and what you don't. And your don't, you know, the, the things that you, that you need, there's your shopping list. And just gradually start adding to it. Uh, but I'm definitely feeling a sense of urgency. I think we have a sense of urgency to get ready and be better prepared. And uh, I hope that's what you're doing because the writing is certainly on the wall. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hit that like button. If you got anything out of this video, 
um, maybe a little bit of information, maybe a little thought provoking, a little push there, uh, maybe a little bit of entertainment and, uh, you guys stay safe. Take care. We'll see you next time.